the main event lineup. Catch him, rookie into the modified division. Warner, a rookie as well. Chriswell, Boudreaux, O'Connor, Weston, and Nutter Sr. Green flag out. We are underway with modified heat race number one. Catch him into the middle of the racetrack. Takes the early advantage with Warner up into the fluffy stuff in one and two. Chriswell fits third. O'Connor up into fourth already. Watch Lawrence set going into three. Now coming off through the middle to high groove of what there is of it right now. Spins tires just a little bit as he doesn't quite hook up the way he thinks he needs to. At the completion of lap number one, it's catch him out in front. Warner two. O'Connor with the power move on the high side down the back straightaway pass as Chriswell works on Warner now. Warner all the way up to the fence, bounces off the wall. O'Connor into second. Weston trying to follow him through. Weston up to fourth as he slides past him. Warner. Now O'Connor working down the back straightaway. Sets in the middle, going to drive off low, and as Ketchum washes way high, Lawrence O'Connor from row number three into the lead in the third lap of this heat race. Ketchum trying to hold the second spot as Chris Will up to within a car length of him. Chris Will hits the bump going into three, but uses it to set the car, and we're going to have a caution. It's Nutter Sr. Nutter Sr. spun out. Weston, Warner, Boudreau, and Nutter. Nutter through the turn, green flag out. Sorry, make that O'Connor through the turn, green flag out. Chris Well showing him a nose, going at the bottom of two. Chris Well goes door panel to door panel with Lawrence O'Connor for a second. O'Connor will hold him off. Streak away a little bit through the corner, although Chriswell, big run, using a bit of the infield to push his way forward and reclaim some of that track positioning loss on the entrance of turn three. Lewis Nutter Sr. trying to pass for fifth, recovering in the 51 modified. There's Weston going down low on Ketchum, trying to take the position. Weston can't keep the car pinned to the bottom, but gets in through the middle, gets good drive, and down the back straightaway, Aaron Weston takes the third spot. Six laps in, two laps remaining for Lawrence O'Connor. O'Connor, white flag, as he comes off the bottom of four. Uses the high side in one and two. Throttles up down the back straightaway. Making it look easy. Heat race win in the first heat goes to Lawrence O'Connor. Second place to Morgan Criswell. Gives third to Aaron Weston. Fourth to Tyler Ketchum. Fifth position goes to Tom Warner. Sixth to Lewis Nutter Sr. And seventh to Becky Boudreaux. Allowed on the Dwayne Lane Family of Auto Center's pace truck. Zerbin on the inside, Cook on the outside. They go eight laps. As Zerbin moving Cook up racetrack, gets on the gas in the middle of the corner. The green flag is out. Durbin throws it into corner number one, out into the early lead with Cook running to the second position, and the caution flag will fly as Kirby wants to try that start one more time. It stays right, he will not restart. Durbin and Cook. Better looking start this time, we're underway off the fourth corner. Zerbin works down low. Cook smooth up and around the high side. They pull even Steven down the back chute. Underneath the Les Schwab tire sign as they get into the corner. Zerbin on the bottom inches ahead. As Cook's brought it down racetrack, Zerbin having to really pedal to keep the wheels underneath him with Cook assaulting up on the high groove. Mel Decker is third. Ballou working to the fourth spot. Underneath Nutter, he'll get it off a of two. Lane Zerbin, Graham Cook, one and two. Cook coming off the bottom, gets just a nose underneath him. 
Backs out of it, swings the car up high, going into the first corner, diamonds the corner off, makes the run up on Zerbin down the back chute. Baru working in the third position, makes it underneath Decker. Decker going to make a cross under. Goes bouncing, though, off the bottom of turn number two. Costs him some track position. Jason Ballou is up into third. Lane Zerbin, Graham Cook, one and two. Jason Ballou, third, and Ballou trying to track down your lead, too. Four in and four remaining here in this heat race. Cook goes down to the apron to try to get a run on Zerbin. Zerbin keeps the door closed. Meanwhile... Decker is expired in the top of turn number four. Caution flag out around Skagit Speedway. Restarts got Cook up high, Baloo down low, Baloo moving up racetrack, trying to take the lane away from Cook. Cook stays with him as they get into the corner, but the bottom, the preferred line getting into the turn. Cook with a nice run coming off the top of the corner. He will retain the second spot. Both of them hammering on lane. Zerbin looking for a way around. Zerbin, Cook, and Baloo as Nutter goes spinning on the bottom of turn number two. And Brandon Nutter draws a caution. Cook was putting the moves on Zerbin coming off of four, but the caution is flown. Green flag out on the modified heat race once again. Look at Cook hustling down to the low groove. Forces Zerbin to enter a little bit higher than he wanted. They're going three wide off a of two for a second. Cook backs out of it. Ballou comes down, takes the line away from him. Jason Ballou up into the two spot, puts the chrome horn to Zerbin as they come off the corner. Zerbin down on the low groove. Ballou trying high, going to arc it off down low. Pulls up even with the numbers down the back straight away. Final set of corners, final time. Modified heat race number two. And off of turn number four, it goes to Lane Zerbin. Ballou settles for a second, gives third to Cook. Fourth to Brandon, another gives fifth to Howard Boss.